Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. My name is Laura and I was gonna do a flip through real quick of my personal rings. Um, this is a Filofax Lockwood zip. Um, it's got a zip on the back and then a pocket on the front and then it zips close. Pretty handy. Um, it's got 23 millimeter rings, which for me isn't ideal. Um, I can pretty easily fill a 30 millimeter ring binder, but if I slim down a little bit, I can make it work. Um, and this is what the inside looks like. I've got some pockets and I've just got tons and tons of stickers <laughs> stored in here. But um, this is a photo dashboard that I made on Canva. Um, I just get free images off of um, an app called Unsplash and then I enlarge them on Canva and I like to change them out monthly, sometimes more. It just kind of depends on my mood. This is my current one. Um, this is a vinyl dashboard from Cadspresso Co. and I've got some journaling cards from um, dream seeds plan and plant on instagram um i am on her pr team um she's not opened yet but she will be opening in february um so we're kind of doing just showing things off before the the launch um i don't have a code or anything right now but i will closer to launch so i'll update that um and her artwork is just really stunning <laughs> it's very very beautiful and nature inspired and that's that's what i'm all about so um got some of those and then i've got a picture of my dad and my husband and then a picture of my mom um i just like them to be they go in every planner <laughs> they just move move with every planner so um just the back of those cards and then this is a vellum from dream seeds as well this is um a holidays freebie um from plan with b it's very comprehensive she's got all the holidays um this uh yearly overview is from the planner spot it's a freebie you just have to sign up for her newsletter uh, then I've got the fold out from the yearly dated bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. And I've just got paydays, some holidays, and birthdays on that. This next page, which I failed to cover up, is um, it's the resources page from Peanuts Planner Co. I've got another one later in the planner that... Um, I can show, but it's got important phone numbers on it. Um, this is a freebie from Puffin Pages Co. I initially was thinking that I was going to use this to kind of map out my goals, but I'm just not quite at the point where I can define <laughs> timelines for anything. I'm kind of waiting on a couple of things. To, uh, I'm sorry y'all I thought it wasn't recording for a minute and I was about to like freak out <laughs> and give up but I think it is recording lord let it be it is recording it is I'm so sorry you guys I was about to absolutely panic because <laughs> I've been talking um Puffin Pages Co but I I haven't filled it out yet I don't know quite where I am yet with my goals so I'm this is on hold for now, but that's what I'm hoping to eventually do with it. Um, this is my inbox slash, I guess, GTD section. I'm not really super, I'm not, I'm not majorly subscribed to the GTD system, but I do like some of the concepts. Um, this is from Catspresso Co. and I just have um, some sticky notes 
with different information and some blank ones just for the future. Um, this is, um, these are, these are from Paper Test Designs. I'm all shook up now that I thought the camera wasn't recording <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, this is from Puffin Pages Co. It's just a checklist. Um, I'm not really good at using an index. I'm, I usually just put things in the category where they belong um, when I think of them. So this is next action. So like things that I really want to get done as soon as possible. Um, things I need to research or check out. Recommendations. Things that I'm waiting on. Um, things that are not urgent. Uh, home projects. Just all the things I'd like to get done around the house. Um, someday maybe list with all those big hopes and dreams. <laughs> And the paper that I'm putting this on, this is like, um, I use a mix of Tomoe River and Stalogy paper and just, you know, I don't see a need for a special printed insert for stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> this is just things that I need to buy, things that I would like to add to my planner. Um, these are trigger lists. This is from the planner spot. And I'll be honest, I really don't reference these. I honestly think it might give me more anxiety if I did reference these because I feel like I would feel like, I don't know, like, sh you know, I just feel like I might take these out <laughs> is what I feel like. Um, I do like this though, list to make. Um, and these are from Vienna Ortiz on her shop. So next is my monthly section. Um, got another sticky note from Paper Test Designs. This is a freebie from Paper Test Designs. It's just a uh, free calendar and I printed it on linen cardstock. Um, and this is a February calendar from Faded Chronicle. I'm trying out <clears throat> this um, monthly layout. It's from Simple and Trendy Co. And then on this side, I'll put, I'm sorry, I have some personal information that I failed to cover up, but um, I'll put like a to-do list for the month, just a list of things that I'd ideally like to get done. And then this is what I'm trying right now. I'm really bad at committing to monthly layouts. <laughs> I've tried so many, but I kind of like this. I, you know, with personal, sometimes the boxes are a little skinny. So I'm just trying it and seeing if maybe it would work. Um, this is a tracker freebie. Um, I believe it's linked on planning with aloes. Um, account on Instagram and I think it was a collab with um, printables for planners um, and it's just like a little weekly tracker on a sticky note um, and I just put some things that I like to track each week um, this is this is the weekly I'm trying right now um, uh, because of the way my system works I really don't need a weekly traditional layout I just need like a weekly list so this is from Simple and Trendy Co. Um, I could just do it on a normal piece of paper, but I like that I can put a calendar and um, it just looks nice. So trying that out. Um, next is my daily section. It's another one from Paper Test Design. These are these are just littered throughout my planner. I'll just go ahead and say it. So. Um, this is the um, one line a day insert from uh, My Minimal Planner and I just put like a daily highlight, like something good that day. Um, it's not really what I'd call gratitude, it's just, you know, something notable. And sometimes it's, you know, like on the 17th my highlight was chamomile tea with honey and you know what, That's that's sometimes that's just enough. <laughs> so. Um, this is my February one. Um, this is the daily that I use. Um, I have to be a bit careful. I, I have been using this planner for work and personal, 
but I'm honestly at the point where I think I might take my work stuff out because I'm just tired of seeing it all the time, even when I'm off. Like, I really want my personal time to be my time. So I'm kind of working on that and I'm thinking I might put it in a Pocket Plus setup um, to be determined. But this is the daily layout that I'm using. This is from um, Filofaxi. Uh, it's free on the blog um, the whole year and it's dated and I am really enjoying it. Um, I put my meals each day and <clears throat> usually some washi right here just to make it pretty and I'll use uh, dots to mark like timed events and I'll use character stickers like I love the Coffee Monsters Co. I'll use decorative stickers you know there's I love the room because you can really do a lot with it. Um, I have ordered I think three or four months worth of inserts from Agendio and I customized it to be really similar to this. Um, those are supposed to start in March and I'm excited to try it. Um, so we'll see. This is free though, so that's very tempting, but it's also, it's, it's, it, it can be a bit of a project to print and cut and punch this much paper each month. Um, and it's a, it can get a, a bit expensive when you factor in ink and paper and um, all that kind of stuff. Um, I use 24 pound HP bright white paper and that's a happy, I, I, I can't believe, I used to use 32 pound and I laugh because now it feels like straight up cardstock and I just cannot deal with it anymore. I really like lighter weight paper. It just feels better to me. Um, these are journaling prompts from Journaling Home on Instagram. She has an Etsy shop and I get her monthly kit every single month. <clears throat> Do I always finish all of the prompts? Nope. But I enjoy it. I just pick and choose. You know, sometimes I don't need a prompt. I just kind of, I write the most probably first thing in the morning. I try to kind of put myself, I try to just get stuff. I, I guess you could call it morning pages, kind of, maybe. Um, but that's kind of what I do. Um, but sometimes if I just, these are good to have just, and sometimes it really makes you think about things that maybe you otherwise wouldn't think about, but they're good to explore. Um, so I always get these each month and I really enjoy them. Um, I do journal in my rings and um, I like everything to be in one book. If it's not, then something ends up getting ignored, whether it's the planner or the journal. Um, I've tried Traveler's Notebooks. That was my first foray into planning back in 2021. And while I liked it, I realized it wasn't really serving its purpose, which is number one, getting me organized, and number two, a place for me to record my life and my thoughts. I mean, yeah, it's great for recording, you know, my life and my thoughts, but it was not keeping me organized. I was getting confused. I couldn't choose a size to save my life. It was just a hot mess. So I finally tried rings, which I resisted for a very long time, but I was very insp inspired by um, uh, Carrie. Um, she's I Heart to Plan on Instagram, and she's also on YouTube. And then um, Carrie Harling, who is on YouTube, um, they inspired me to really just try and do rings with an all-in-one system. So I journal. Um, this is a blank page. I pre-decorate sometimes just so like I can just turn the page. Sometimes I write, you know, not even a full page. Some days I write like three pages. <laughs> so um, I like to kind of have some pages set up to go and I just, just write um, whatever's going on. And um, I archive these at the end of each month. I Right now I'm putting them in envelopes, but I've got an accordion file coming and I think I'm gonna try and store them in that. And then at the end of the year, I'll put them all in one binder and label it with the year. So that's the plan right now. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I, I'd probably be better off saving my daily pages because I feel like I do more memory keeping in these, but 
these are prettier. <laughs> so um, I use Tomoy River paper and Stalogy paper that I just chop right out of notebooks um, that I have. And um, that's a, just a, it's a great way to just have, you know, basically unlimited paper for your journal. Like this is from an Anami Cafe note, B6 Slim that I cut down. These are from some Traveler's Notebook inserts and yeah, it's a great way to, you know, prevent waste and use what you have. So, um, that's my journaling section. My next section is, um, my tracking. Um, this is from Your Paper and Line Co. This is a mental health tracker. Um, and I'm going to be tracking anxiety specifically. Um, I struggle quite, quite a lot with anxiety. And so I think, I thought it might be helpful um, with some of the, just lately, I thought it'd be helpful to maybe kind of track throughout the day, like what times of day things are getting bad and kind of see if I can figure out some of maybe what's causing me to have some of my flares. So I've got that in there. Um, this is from Dream Seeds Plant and Plant. Um, it's a tracker. She hasn't released it yet. It'll it'll be one of the things that comes out when she opens her store. Um, sticker from Randy Dot Plans. Just tracking some basic habits that I'm really trying to cultivate <laughs> this year. Um, this is from the Paper and Cats on Etsy. Um, she's well known for her Traveler's Notebook inserts, but she also does inserts for rings. And so I have the Ink Imperfections tracker. Um, and on this side, I mainly do cleaning stuff. And then on this side, I do health stuff. Um, I just have some symptoms and things like that that I like to track. Um, and then I just, you know, everything else is just cleaning. This is my weight log. It's covered up. Oh my gosh, I just got a low power. Hopefully that didn't cut out too much. I got a low power mode um, notification. I'm so sorry. This is a mess. It's okay. <laughs> this is my weight log. It's covered up um, from Peanuts Planner Co. Medicine log from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, health log for anything really n notable or out of the norm. Um, cycle tracker. This is the yearly log from Peanuts Planner Co. Reoccurring tasks from Peanuts Planner Co. Where I just put, um, mainly home maintenance and pet maintenance. These are goal inserts. Um, and I just kind of put... Like a, my overarching goal and then things that I want to accomplish to reach the full goal. These are from Simple and Trendy Co. So I've got a couple of those. I have some project inserts. I want to say these are from Puffin Pages Co. And I've just got some like decluttering stuff and things like that. Some vellum from Queen City Designs. More of the sticky notes. Like I said, they are... They're running rampant in this planner. Um, online orders. Uh, wish list. This is a freebie from Sand Doodle's desk on Instagram. Task management from Peanuts Planner Co. And I use this, I'm using this to come up with ideas for birthday gifts for the year. Um, therapy notes um, for therapy sessions. I just put down anything that I think of that I want to talk to my therapist about in my sessions, thoughts on skincare routine, um, work gratitude. You know, sometimes I get upset at work and it's nice to have a place where I can see all the reasons it's good to have this job versus some of the others I could have. <laughs> so I keep that in here. These are just some quotes and, and like, here's a, a, definition of a word that I thought was interesting. These are just like quotes that I find and I just want to write them down. Uh, gifts received. Um, I am always forgetting what people have given me in the past. So I thought that this could be helpful for the future. 
This is my entertainment section. Um, I found this on Google and just blew it up on Canva with the Avengers movies. Um, this is from My Minimal Planner. It's just got comfort movies, um, movies that I like to watch that put me in a good mood. Same thing for TV shows, movies to watch, shows to watch, podcasts to listen to, books to read. These are all from freebies from Sand Doodle's desk on Instagram. Um, movie log from Peanuts Planner Co. Same thing with the TV series. This is a vellum from Lionheart Creations on Etsy. It was a printable. I just thought that was really pretty. This is the reading log from SM Plans. I'm trying to hit, I think it's 48 books this year. I'm doing good so far. Last year I read two books, so I'm, I'm really actually doing quite exceptional <laughs> at the moment for this year. So I'm proud of myself for that. This is my reference section. Um, this is just a free calendar from Paper Test Designs resources. I'm going to start putting the opening and closing hours for certain businesses because some of them have really funky hours and um, I can never remember what they are and I don't always like to have to Google it. So I'm going to start keeping track of those here. Um, this is just a wish list, Vanderspeck and Jillio. I have a custom Vanderspeck coming this month and I can just cannot tell you how excited I am. Um, it has been too long and I'm very excited. Um, this is a savings tracker from Peanuts Planner Co, but I'm using it to track, um, my PTO hours that I have available this year and how they get used. This is just, um, some Stalogy paper and I wrote down my, some of me and my husband's favorite restaurants. These are um, Instagram accounts that offer freebie printables. Um, this is my finance section. There's not a lot back here. Um, this is from my minimal, minimal uh, excuse me, y'all, <laughs> my minimal planner with the baby steps. Um, uh, most of this is not filled out and that's okay. I'll get around to it eventually, but this is a bill tracker, um, Penis Planner Co. This is from Puffin Pages Co. Uh, for built like subscriptions, like recurring subscriptions. And then this is a savings tracker that I got from Annalita Designs on Etsy. And I just thought that this was the cutest thing. Look at, they're so happy. Happy to be saving money. That's what we wanna be. Um, this is a folder from Franklin Planner that I just measured and cut to personal size from Franklin Covey Compact. It's my page lifter and that is it. Thank you all so much if you have stayed <laughs> this long. I'm sorry that this was uh, a bit a bit jumbled at times, but thank you for your time and your patience and I hope that you have a lovely day and stay safe out there. Bye.